Good morning folk, just show you a small video using a mark, how to stop it ghosting. Um, what I do is, I get a piece of masking tape, put it on whatever you're going to mark, you can use two pieces of masking masking tape to be extra safe. Um, I'll try it with these. This is a bit of boxwood. These are two of my marks. One is um, in coos and one is embossed. And the embossed ones are far easier to mark than this type. Um, what, what you want is you don't try and do it on your bench if you've got something a lot harder like an anvil or a slab um, it's it, this I don't, my bench on a wooden floor uh, is unsuitable for doing anything like heavy so we'll transfer to the anvil You want something really solid and you want a fairly big hammer and by the way you want it no higher than this when you're striking a heavy blow look at me when you're striking a heavy blow you want your hammer down there you don't want it up here you can't put any force like that you want it down there bang right place it on get it firmly fixed and one blow Oh, did it upside down? Now, before I take the tape off, we'll try with the embossed. I'll do this upside down now. Uh, you can do it even better on the grain. Get it really solid, firm, one blow. And there you have it, no ghosting whatsoever because it, uh, it's absorbed in the, in the masking tape. I did two of my skeleton saws. One blow, bit of tape, perfect. And I even did this one underneath. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's very dark in here. Oh, and I wanted to tell you yesterday, it was so hot. I was working in the garden doing some trestle work. I had all my kit up the yard in the sun. Where it was a boiling hot day. And this is my gre grease box with tallow in, as it happens. Boxwood, of course, and I've had it, I don't know, 20 years in here, and it gets hot in here, but it's never melted before. Yesterday, this was like water in the sun, wasn't it, Sarah? Mm. <laughs> and and I'll just show you this. I had G cramps, hammers and saws all up the garden near the house, and the G cramps, and this tool, incidentally, it was so, it was lying on the grass or whatever and I went to pick it up and it was so hot I couldn't handle it. I had to put it in a bowl of cold water before I could use it. I've never known my tools to get so hot. It was absolutely ridiculous. The G-cramps, <laughs> I said to Sarah, pass me a G-cram, she had to drop it. It was so blooming it. Oh, what? But that's another story. Another day. I want to finish this. I think I showed you that. Love the wood. I've been told it's that um, Dalbergia cochinensis. Very, very rare according to form. Worth its weight. I've been told it's worth its weight in gold in China because of the black market. 
by an expert who told me that. He said, take very care of that piece of wood. It's very expensive. And it's gorgeous grain, but it's as hard as blooming iron. It's difficult to saw and it's difficult to plane. But it's worth the effort.